What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, happy Friday. It is the weekend. We are already now in week number 11. Is it week? No, week. Yeah, week 11. Jeez. It, it, it's crazy that how fast this NFL season is going through right now. And, um, we are seeing what our team is going to do this weekend. We have fans that are pissed off right now and screaming and going crazy at the Cowboys because the Eagles have signed Lavelle Joseph on their defense. They've signed Namak and Sue. And they're like, why didn't we go get those guys, man? We suck. Now, now Jerry Jones went on 105 3 the fan today and said, you know, we, we, we didn't have any interest in signing Namak and Sue. We didn't believe in him. We believe in our guy and stuff and people are laying base in the cowboys and basically saying have you looked at our rankings as far as stopping the run you should have done that but i'm going to say pump the brakes here for a minute let's pump the brakes for a second here because you're talking about bringing in guys lavelle joseph you know and namak and sue uh, i think they both played last year i'm not sure about lavelle joseph but i'm talking about two guys that have had no off-season workout no training camp in anything and we are half the season over with you got to bring him in you got to get him up to speed and then you got to take other guys out that you're using and so on and i want to bring a point here to you guys i actually want to play this clip of my son philly 500 to just kind of refresh your memory on something by the way king ding back here we got huge 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 breaking news the eagles acquire robert quinn and this is big time this is big time howie roseman big time howie vision we're all just living in it now before we get into it if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that like button more importantly make sure you subscribe for daily eagles content nfl content you definitely don't want to miss it and if you've been subscribed for a while just double check Double moonwalk check. Make sure you're still subscribed. Now, I would love to be coming live talking to you guys about this right now. Unfortunately, I got to go work, so I can't gotta do it. I just was home filming a segment for Here's game crazy. day, which will be out a couple days. And then I was getting ready to do a video, and boom, we got Eagles breaking news. Pound Eagles, according to Jeff McLean. E Pound Eagles are trading for Bears defensive end. Robert Quinn in exchange for a 2023 fourth round draft pick. NFL sources confirm. Various sources confirm at that. Okay, but Robert Quinn is coming to Philly for a fourth round pick. And get this, get this. Robert Quinn had 18 and a half mother humping sacks. A year ago, okay? Now, he's only had one in seven games this year, but the change of scenery will help him out tremendously. Here's what he's done over the last four years. 2019, 11 and a half sacks. 2020, two sacks. 2021, 18 and a half sacks. 2022, one sack in seven. Mind you, okay, that, that, I, I, I want to stop here for a second because if you actually look at Robert Quinn's numbers, he always has a big year followed up by a bad year. That 11 and a half sacks was when the Cowboys, when we gave up a six round pick for him to come from Miami, coming off of a six sack season, pops up to 11 and a half sacks, signs a $75 million contract with the Bears and proceeds to have two sacks. The next year, 18 and a half, and the Bears decided in 2022 where he had one sack in seven games we don't want to pay this big contract. Enter the Eagles. Now go on, Philly. Games. However, the change of scenery going from, let's face it, the Chicago Bears ain't going nowhere, to the Philadelphia Eagles who are undefeated, undisputed, this is big time. This is a big time trade for the Eagles. And it's October 26th. You think they're done yet? They ain't done yet. They still got another move to make. But this is a big move for a fourth-round pick to get Robert Quinn. That's big time, okay? It is. Now, I know that there's a lot of concerns about how much money he's going to make and stuff like that. Here's, here's what his contract looks like, okay? So he signed through 2024. So 2022, which is this year, 
he's making $12.8 million. However, that's prorated for the rest of the season. 2023, he's making $13.9 million non-guaranteed. Then he's making $12.9 million non-guaranteed. So the Eagles will have options to figure out what they want to do with him going forward. But for this year, for this year, he is with the Philadelphia Eagles. And this is a move that you have to make if you're the Eagles, if you're Howie Roseman. And here's why. You're 6-0. and You're undefeated, undisputed. Your next game is against the Pittsburgh Steelers. You're 10 and a half point favorites, meaning you're supposed to win this game, okay? Then you have the Houston Texans on Thursday. Then you have the Washington, basically no names, no quarterback. Then you got the Indianapolis Colts. Oh, by the way, they don't have a quarterback too. Can you imagine that you have a rookie you have a rookie quarterback in the Bears. You have a sticky quarterback in the Texans. Then you have um, you have Heineke, and then you have uh, Matt Ryan is is already out, and and Foles isn't start. Okay, I can stop off there. Okay, so here's the problem for us as Cowboy fans: we hear not only Philly five hundred, we hear you know like Ian Rappaport yesterday, the rich get richer. The rich get richer. The Eagles sign Namakin Sue. And you're thinking about Namakin Sue, the Super Bowl champion. Namakin Sue up there in Detroit, you know, stepping on people and stuff. You're not seeing the Namakin Sue that may be the guy now. Because here's the thing that's interesting. So he has played in three games for the Eagles. They give up a fourth round draft pick. They're paying him $12.8 million prorated for this year. And thus far, what Robert Quinn has done for the Eagles in three games is 49 snaps. Which equals to about 16 snaps a game. And he's had one sack this year. And oh, by the way, that was when he was with the Bears. He has a total of two tackles. So you look at that and say, $12.8 million. You now have his whole contract to deal with. And you're not using him. Do you think Lavelle Joseph, Namakin Sue? Now, I'm going to applaud the Eagles for making moves to try and fix the problem. But you ended up getting this guy. Oh, we'll just give up a fourth round draft pick. No problem. We'll get him. We'll take on his salary. And bring him in. The fans, oh yeah, Howie Roseman, we're doing such great things and everything else, right? And then you don't use them. It's so funny because yesterday when I had mentioned to some people and talking about it that, you know, oh my God, they got Lavelle Joseph the day before. They got Namak and Sue. And I kind of said, yeah, and don't forget they got Robert Quinn. And people are like, oh, damn. We forgot that they got Robert Quinn. Oh, yeah. So real quick, before I get out of here, I just want to say 2023 is voidable. And yeah. 2023 is voidable and so they can get out of that without any issues but i'm just pointing out that just because somebody signs a name that you know a name that you know doesn't mean that all of a sudden it's going to be a great player it doesn't so will namakin sue and lavelle joseph be like robert quinn i don't know Maybe Namakin Sue ends up being the Namakin Sue that we knew from a few years ago. We'll have to wait and see. But slow your roll on everybody being pissed off at Jerry Jones because we don't go out there and trade and pay guys that we're not sure that can work. All right? And that's all I got to say about that.